All right, we're going to look at doing the one-point perspective drawing of this. Um, it's a little arched tunnel with some stuff going on at the back over there. Right, how do I go about doing that? First of all, I'm going to drop some lines down from the top over here. Just from that center line, I'm just going to drop that straight down. Okay. Um, once I've done that, I know that this line over here is representing this circle over here. So I'm going to set my pair of compasses to that radius over there. And I'm going to bring, them in a, bring it across and I'm going to be able to draw that circle in dark straight away. The reason being is that it is touching the picture plane. Anything touching the picture plane, you can see that corner over there, will link up with that. That corner over there will link up with that. Right. Uh, you'll see that there's some hidden detail over here, and that would represent this little circle over here. Going to that center line again over here, set my radius. Note the radius over here is the same as that. Going around to there, so I can drop that down over here, and I can draw that in as well, because it is touching the picture plane. Right, once I've done that, let me just draw in the base of that circle. Right, once I've got that, the next thing to do is to look at this object and you'll see that this tunnel is moving back to this line over here. All right, so you're going to have another set of circles happening at that point over there. Now we know it's a perspective drawing, so the circles at the front over here in the perspective drawing are going to get smaller as they go back to that point over there. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to take a line going from the stationary point up to the horizon line, label that as vanishing point, VP, and I'm going to take a line coming back from this center line over here to where it says VP over there. Take a line going back, okay, and that is a center line coming off the center of the circle. I'm then going to find where the center is on that green line by taking a line coming from that corner over there, coming down to the stationary point over here. And what I'm really looking for is when it cuts over the picture plane over there. I'm going to drop that down into my picture and I found the center of that new circle over there on my picture. Right. The next thing that we need to do is to try and figure out what the radius is going to be of this new circle, which is further back. Now we know that that radius needs to get smaller. How do I find that? I'm going to take a line going back over here from the edge of the circle over here. Right, going back to the vanishing point over there. And you'll see over here, that line over there is also going to be a circle at that point. So I'm going to take the edge of the circle, which would be that point, and I'm going to take that down to the stationary point over here. If I drop that down, you'll see that I should have a line that goes perfectly horizontal going across over here. That little orange line that I've got over there is the radius that I need in, a, in order to draw the new circle. If you look over here, this big circle at the front, okay, it is moving back. As it goes back, that circle is going to get smaller. And you can see that that radius is getting smaller over there. Once I've got that, I'm going to draw just a construction line circle to start with. I'm then going to take a line from the vanishing point and I'm going to squeeze it down until it just touches the big circle at the front and just touches that small circle at the back. And I can draw in a tangent going between those two arcs over there. Once I've got that in place, um, you would be able to draw in that circle as a nice dark circle going up to that point over there. Right, you can see how that tunnel has sort of taken shape. It's going back to the vanishing point. As it goes back, it gets smaller. I also have a little line that's going to come from that corner. Remember that two lines going into corner. I need that third line coming out of there to give it that nice three-dimensional look to it. Right, there's my tunnel. 
The next thing that we need to look at is this back part over here, this little toothy bit over here. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some lines across over here from the top over there. I'm going to take some lines coming down from these pieces at the back over here, from there, from there, from there, and from there, coming down. And I'm just going to find this piece over here. Now this is not done dark. I'm doing it slightly darker with my colored pencils just so that you can see the idea of putting this into the picture. Right, there it is. That's done in construction lines, very, very light lines. And you can then see basically what I've got over here at the front. Now, I know that this stuff over here doesn't exist at the front, but you can see that it is further back over there. To do that, what am I going to do? I'm going to take some lines going back from the corners of this. So a line coming all the way back to vanishing point there. A line coming all the way back to vanishing point from that corner over there. A line going back to vanishing point, court and vanishing point from that corner over there. A line going back to the vanishing point from that corner over there and from this corner over here. Right, you can sort of see that toothy bit. I need to find out how far back it is. Well, um, I know that I've already found that corner over there. That was where the circle is. So I can draw a line going straight up over here. Straight up over here to... You can see that corner coming out there. I need to find that back corner over there. Let's find that by taking a line going down to the stationary point from that back corner and drop that down into my picture. I can draw a line coming straight down over there and I'd be able to draw in a line going across the top there and a line going across the bottom over there. Right, once I've got that, it's quite easy. I can see that these lines over here are parallel to the picture plane. There and there. You can see those, those lines. I've got the top point, so I can draw a little line coming across over there and a little line going across over there. I could go to that corner over there, draw a little line coming across to there, draw a little line going across to there. Fill that in. Fill that little line in, fill that little line in. Next thing that I need to do is to try and figure out this little part over here. I'm going to take a line coming back from the corner of this little thing at the front over here, going all the way back. Right, take that back. Let me just do it in a different color. There it is, going from there, going back. And you can see that orange line that I've got over there, I'm going to be able to drop a line coming straight down from that corner to there and from that corner to there. Once I've got that, I can draw a line going across over here and drop a line coming down to that corner over there. You'd then be able to see a line going back over here I've got a little piece of line. Note, it is parallel to the picture plane, so I'd be able to draw a line going parallel to the picture plane just over there. And then to finish it off, all I need to do is to drop this line going straight down over here, and the drawing is completed.